to you from Santa Barbara Harbor. And today's recipe is widget. We're going to cook this widget with my iron. The chain of events is I plugged in my iron. I found free electricity at the Santa Barbara Harbor. Please don't tell the mayor. The ingredients for this dish is a widget. Eat a widget. I had Hunter's Anonymous come to my rescue one more time. Johnny. They brought me this widget. They said a widget is very big. But they said the widget is kind of like the size of a seagull. You know what? There's a lot of seagulls that harass me here at the harbor. I figured if I cooked a widget and a seagull came by, I figured a seagull may fear the iron. For all I know, it could be his mother, brother, son, or sister. You need fresh rosemary, and you may steal this from a planter somewhere in town. Butter, almond flour, salt and pepper, and for that delicious gourmet sauce on top, we got butter, raspberries, and frozen cranberry concentrate. You definitely need foil. I use nonstick because it's as close as commercial can give me for what I really need in life. And I brought a bottle of cooking spray. Ah! To properly sear a widget, you need to set it on linen. So to not make a mess on my pants, I brought an aluminum tray to help me so I can make a gravy. Place your iron in your aluminum tray and wedge firmly. For that's going to be your cooking surface. A widget is very bony and we need him flat. So I have red shears to cut him in half. I'm cutting down the breast for he's going to be fricocheted. Crunch goes those bones. That means you're making progress. And open him up. That's what he looks like inside. He is very fresh. He probably was living yesterday. The huntsman brought it to me in these little white hermetically sealed packages. Widgets are about the cutest little thing that ever flew on the planet. They're very colorful. There's green ones and orange ones and yellow ones and every kind of color on your sun. They're nature's rainbow. But if you're a crappy huntsman and you can't get yourself a goose and you miss and you get a widget, then that's all you get to eat. Shush, I'm talking here. I have things to say. Would you please be quiet? I am speaking. Okay. Apparently the huntsman offloaded his widget on me for he didn't want to cook it. Put a piece of foil in your pan. Put your butter in it next. Furthermore, place your iron on top of the next piece of foil where you need to make a paste to rub that widget with. It's best if you center your butter in the middle of the foil. It wants to get away from you, but you have to aim, shoot, and fire. And if you feel it on the side of your iron, you need to check and keep checking until you get it right. And sometimes you just can't get it right. Today might be that day. The butter keeps wanting to get out of that pan. Well, they don't know me. I'm tenacious. Well, that butter has no idea who it's dealing with. Uh-oh. I got him cornered. While the butter is melting, you need one tablespoon of fresh rosemary. Let's see what we got. Perfect. Pour the butter in your vessel with your rosemary. There. Please note your pre-greased baking sheet to be used later. Add one half teaspoon of salt to your butter. Crack pepper on top of that. I'm not a spice girl. It's not going to be much. And make a paste. Mush, mush, mush. Pre-season your widget with a little salt and a little pepper. I do extra on the inside because I'm not going to eat that anyway. So there's too much on my tongue. It's not going to bother me because what I'm really after is that. The skin is always the best. Put a little salt on that too and a little pepper to your desiring. And now add your butter paste to the skin of your widget and spread it around. That's going to have all the flavor of this dish. For an extra crunchy widget, I'm adding some almond flour. Oh man, that's going to be awesome. Just like it's snowing. That widget ain't ever seen snow again. With your extra butter, stick it in the bottom of that pan. Spread it around with your fingers. And stick your widget upside down on it. With your free hand, rub the butter on little parts that's going to make contact with that iron. Because you don't want it to stick, and it always sticks. Place your recycled piece of foil on top and place your iron. I prefer the top-down method. The top-down method has served me best. While your widget is cooking, you may have fun playing with nearby sea creatures. Living in Santa Barbara is really a thrill. I have found a spiny lobster. Goldie is protected in her glass fishbowl. The lobster cannot hurt her. Marine life is very fascinating to me, and I want to give a show and tell here of this lobster, which I've been told by our trusty fisherman is one and a half pounds. I'm a little worried about this lobster. He may get away from me and he may hurt me. This lobster appears to be docile right now. I'm happy. Sometimes they get their tail and they wag so hard, they freak me out. This lobster knows I mean it no harm. He knows I will not be eating it today. Goldie's a little hyped up right now. I wonder sometimes if little fishies in the sea have issues with bigger things around them. 
I have been told by Goldie that Albina Boy was a lot of fun. I believe she's fully recovered. She gotta go for a couple test drives. Well, she's back. Albina Boy has not called since. She's fully on the market now. Look at her little desiring, wanting face. She's saying, pick me, pick me. Pick me. This lobster appears dead, but is not dead. He's just happy. He's happy in his place in life. This may be his last few hours on this planet. Do 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 da da da. Da da. The fun's over. Wait, bye bye. Bye, bye, lobster. And after ten minutes, you gotta flip him. Over he goes. Ooh. Oh, I guess he bled a little bit. And get that extra butter, because everything's better with a lot of butter. And stick it back on top. One more dusting with that almond flour. Yum. And back on with the iron. That's going to take another 10 minutes. It's time to prepare the sauce. I'm adding two tablespoons of cranberry concentrate. Add two tablespoons of butter and put it in your vessel. Somebody's angry I'm cooking a bird today. I'm sorry, but that's just what's on the menu. When cooking with an iron, you have time for reflection. I'm reflecting about how happy I am to have Goldie home again. I'm reflecting about the fun stories she told me about a great time at Nippers. I'm going back there myself in a week. There's good times to be had. It's a beautiful day here in sunny Santa Barbara. As I look out in the harbor, I see beautiful reflections of those boats. There's a very active harbor here. There are all kinds of trucks coming in to pull in the harvest. I see a boat full of sea urchin. I think that'd be fun. I don't think you can cook that on an iron, though. Goldie enjoys her outings. We go fish watching. There's always nice people milling about. I make a lot of friends at the harbor. Hi, friend. He apparently was more friendly five minutes ago. Now he won't talk to me. I must have said something. Goldie, what did I say? I don't know. Sometimes you just don't know what you did. I need to learn how to win friends and influence people. How can we connect? I got to take lessons from Goldie. He seems cute and friendly. What's your name? Charlie. That's Charlie. Hi, Charlie. And uh, you doing that to me? I might want that favor. Okay. We're friends. We're good. I need to go fishing, maybe in a bigger pond. It worked for Goldie. The turtle never got anywhere without sticking his neck out first. I might have pissed him off. He's ignoring me. He thinks I'm some crazy lady out there. He doesn't really know who I am, really. Oh, the widgeon smells great. Time to check the widgeon. Oh, yeah. That's done. Oh, yeah. Onto the plate he goes. I hear the juices are supposed to run clear. What the hell, that blood's gonna mix in with that cranberry juice. Nobody's gonna know the difference. Now add your raspberries. That is thoroughly cooked. There are no health concerns here. <coughs> Not. For presentation purposes, you may want to pour your big stew of who knows what into a serving vessel. How oh, and then pour the sauce on it. That is one gourmet widget cooked with an iron. Time to try it. They always say, the stomach is the way to a man's heart. They're hovering around now. I know what's up. They smell the food. They want some widgeon. I'm going to cook my way to love. What do you think? Let's try it. Wow, that's the best tasting widgeon I've ever had. Never had it. Have you ever had widgeon? It's great. Signing off, Rebecca Bradley, the Iron Cook. I hope to see you soon. And enjoy your widgeon cooked with an iron. <laughs>